Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Come On and Slam Gaiden with Charles Barkley. We're just going to go back here. I, I actually forgot to save in that last match, so we're just going to have to run back across here. And I don't think I have to find anything. I'm pretty sure I cleared out most of that stuff already, so that shouldn't be much of a problem, except for this fucking guy, apparently. But he shouldn't be much of a big deal, right? Right. We should be able to handle these two, apparently, fairly easily. We'll just use... Zobber Slash, of course, of course. Now, if you guys might not have noticed, this is post-commentary because the original recording for my microphone failed, and instead of redoing all that, I decided um, just to do it like this. And anyway, I did not know how to do that, and I had apparently been fucking it up. Um, it's this second skill, it's not the throw, and he died. If you hold it down, it'll like, like right here. Or I, I should do it like right here, right there, pass. So if I hold it down, it'll do that, and it just throws, and it does a shit ton of damage. For no goddamn reason. It does a shit ton more than the free throw, and let's just abuse the fuck out of it. Because it's like, it two shots this guy. Like, one one shot, half his health. Other shot, wait for it. Miss. Okay. Never mind, he misses too, so it's not like it matters. I mean, that hit would have probably killed me, but let's just go for the safer bet, which is a miss, and then a the other safe bet, which is another miss, but luckily we get two in a row because he lowered his own speed, so fuck him. Ball throw, he's done. And there we go. A few more Neo Shackles, got all that back. Should be good enough. Let's get moving on. Now, I kind of mess up here and use an Ecto Cooler on him and it doesn't do anything, and it's like, no. What revives him? Steroids. That's right, and then I can use an Ecto Cooler on him. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That's kind of a piece of crap. I should have realized that before. Anyway, let's beat the fuck out of this guy to let go of my anger. Zomballer and Zomballer 2. Now, you'd think that the, the, like, the Zomber Slash and the Zomber Dance, or whatever the fuck it's called, would have the same sort of discrepancy in damage. Because, like, pass, bam, 121. The other one is, like, 80. But no, the Zauber Slash is... Your dash is fucking shit. C comparatively, I... I mean, I don't know. It's just really, really weird, so... Whatever. We'll just go with that. I don't know why I use it there, but... Whatever. Now, post-commentary usually isn't my thing, as many of you guys know. I've only done it maybe two or three times in the past, not counting the Quick Fork series, which was built around it. So you'll have to excuse me if I do have a little bit of an issue keeping up with the pace of what I actually do in the game. Man, I'm saying that here because I don't have any interesting commentary for this fight, because nothing really goes on right here. So just so you guys know that that it is going to be post-commentary, it will not be that in the future, it only will be for today's four episodes. So there's that, found 88 Neo Shekels, and got experience, that's good. And I forgot to loot this, one jacket, could have swore I put that on the last episode, but obviously, obviously not. We'll just put that on here, if I can actually figure out how to get it on. Good good job, Jackass, you, you failed. You failed one of the easiest things. And Anyway, missed this by one thing. What is the fuck is BAPES? Like, that's my question. What is a BAPES? And it, like, right here it says the hottest kicks in the post-cyber apocalypse. I still do- that still doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. But anyway, we'll put, uh, that on. We can find out where to put it on. Ring? Eh, yeah, might as well. Look, increases speed. Should be good. I mean, Barkley's pretty slow. Compared to, uh, Ultimate Hellbait over there, he is- is, is this what I think it is? Yeah, it's a relic from the old times to be sure. From what I have studied, I would assume the massive amounts of B-Ball neutrinos created from the first Chaos Dunk lie dormant in the machine as a sort of power source. What? It still works. All right, let's check this out. Buy items or hack or leave. It's a vending machine. Insufficient science points failed to hack the vending machine. Well, let's just buy shit. And let's not buy anything because whatever. Well, what the? Like, the Bebo Shard and Tear. Like, I don't understand what that is. And as soon as I figure out actually how to go through this menu, we'll look at that. What is a Bebo? Bebo Juice increases VP. Used by active Bebo as I'm going. The Shard of a Mystic Bebo, that increases BP. And the Bebo Tear increases BP as well. One sixty percent or something like that. And the other's a hundred percent. Removes diabetes. And cures Asperger's. And cures Parkinson's. And those are all just like the single status afflictions and 
enriched with minerals labeled something. The do of the chicken fry. Don't know what that means, but go figure. I can deal with it. What I don't know what the do of a chicken fry is, and maybe it's like Mountain Dew on it and something like that. I don't know, but we're not going to be buying anything. We'll just move on. Talk to this guy. It should be no surprise to anyone with a passing familiarity with VidCons that Pokey is the ideal food to snack on when playing mentioned object. Although playing is an inappropriate word because you experience rather than play a VidCon. I shall use playing for the sake of simplicity. For those ignorant to the intricacies of this fine Japanese cuisine, imagine a delicate stick of swinged bread about the width and length of a chomp stick. It's tipped coated in the richest chocolate imaginable. The bold flavor of the chocolate is complemented by the small nuts that caress the tip, creating a culinary juxtaposition of sweetness and saltiness that can only have been hatched in the minds of a chef bust in the subtle paradoxes of eastern cooking. They are light and easy to eat and hold, ease for food vid conning on the go, and their sugar content add that extra boost for late night vidcons. Therefore, Pogi has garnered itself the precious title of ultimate vidcon snack. Perhaps the only drawback of Pogi is its limited availability in the West. Although this cannot be... Wow, it's slow. This cannot be attributed to the snack itself, but the infuriating baboons that think they are that think they are running grocery stores. And anyway, we'll just save all these. The reason I save in all three is because I don't really give a shit. So what's this? Inside this sarcophagus is the mummy of Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest players the Lakers ever had. Really, Kobe Bryant? He was an amazing baller, Hellbane. He thought a lot of himself, but he had good reason to. He was one of the best. That's right, but... Brains! Look out! He's coming out of the sarcophagus! Ugh, whatever. Kobe... His sprite is off. I don't know if that's racist or funny or what. Like, look at his mouth when he gets hit. Hold on, watch this. Watch it. And what the fuck is it? What is that? Like, what is he doing? It's like he melts into a pile of a person. He melts into a pile of person, and then he just just sits there and takes it like a man. And doesn't do any damage whatsoever, he doesn't fight back, he just takes my balls and has them in his face. Anyway, we gain 33 experience, 126 Neo Shackles, not anything, really. Kobe, I just killed Kobe Bryant. He was already dead, Barkley. I know that, but, but that look in his eye, even in death, he had that baller look. That I'm gonna dunk that ball so hard look, that was Kobe. I'm, I'm sorry, Barkley. No man should ever have to do that. I'm sorry, Kobe. I'm sorry. Weird as fuck. Anyway, what do we got in here? And it is fine protein paste. Don't know what that does, but who cares? Barkley, wait! What? Don't you feel that? All that b-ball energy concentrated into one place? I don't feel anything. That's the spirit of a ref trapped in this dimension that's trying to get the b-ball- trying to get to the b-ball dimension. It's incredibly powerful. I don't feel anything, Hellbane. Well, you're about to. Here it comes! And the Dread Ref. And he does not take any fucking damage from that shit. Taste my balls, referee! And they actually took quite a bit of damage from that, from that one. And that hurt like a motherfucker. That is awful. Kill this guy! Just actually gotta hit this ball and then we should be good. And of course I miss. And of course he calls in back up. Hopefully the second one can't call him back up, right? I mean, that would be completely stupid. Why would he be able to do that? Alright, well, let's take out this other guy with the Shobo Jam real quick. Gain and I haven't used that. It gains a bonus to his stat and... I don't think I, I didn't use it. Never mind. Anyway, don't actually kill that guy and use technical foul. And then he just... Hey, that's nice, though. Fuck out of hell, babe. It's just like, eh. <laughs> Dead. Dead. But we do manage to take out that one, and of course, Dread Rev 2 calls in more backup from Dread Rev 2. Well, why don't we, let's just revive him. Hopefully, hopefully, clear up this awful, god awful mess of a fight. Because this is just hurting really, um, really awful, really quickly. 
I mean, at least he's not calling in any more backup. At least we have that to go with, right? See, no, nothing. But I fucking just filed the court. And why the fuck? Why the fuck not? But it doesn't seem like he does it quite as much damage to Barkley as he does to help aim and tell he does that and he completely just rapes my fucking face. Twice he rapes me and then and then the saddest saddest teardrop goes down Barkley's perfect perfect sweaty face. Kurt Cobain. You've been slain in battle. The post-cyber apocalypse rages on. Anyway, let's try this again but let's go up this way instead. This is it, Barkley. This is where I wanted to take you. What is this place? A sacred ball or two. Hold on, Barkley. He's coming through. Huh? Who's he? Or Hellbane, who's he? Is that my son? Looks like my son. Da da da. This is the tomb of my great grandfather, LeBron James. Ultimate Hellbane! That means you're... Yes. That's right. I'm Balthius. Shocking surprise! Why well, didn't you tell me, Balthius? If I'd known... I didn't think you could handle the Barkley. People say I'm Blood Moses, then I'm a terrorist, and I'm a murderer. I couldn't let my best friend think of me. But that's not... Why well, I brought you here. I want you to meet my great-grandfather. Charles! I don't know why I'm giving him this voice, but he's gonna have it. LeBron! Well, what happened? I haven't seen you since the purge. That seems like so long ago, Charles. I didn't have much time left. I can feel the doors of the B-Ball Dimension slowly closing, so I must be quickly. Listen carefully, Barkley. I will only be able to tell you this once. Okay, LeBron. Dark forces are at foot, LeBron. Or Charles. The terrorist organization Blood Moses has some sort of power, something I can't quite explain. I'm not sure of the nature of this power, but I'm certain that it is profoundly powerful. More powerful than anything the world has ever experienced. You recall the Space Jam, don't you, Barclay? The Space Jam? What's that got to do with it? I cannot be certain, Charles, but I believe that Blood Moses has obtained the ultimate B-Ball. The ball that you and the four other ballers were trapped in and are using it. I'm not sure, Barclay, but I cannot understand the purpose of a madman. I can only see evil coming of it. But the ultimate b-ball lost its powers when Jordan won the Space Jam. That is what I believed as well. It seems, though, that some of your powers was trapped inside the ball and grew over time. Grew to a point that even the Chaos Dunk is usable, Barkley. If there are madmen out there, the ability to use the Chaos Dunk, think of all the people at risk. Think of all the people that have already died because of them. Manhattan is destroyed. No. I vowed long ago that nobody would ever have to suffer another chaos dunk. Something has to be done. Anything. But LeBron, what? My, my time is fading. I can no lo longer maintain the connection from the B-Ball dimension. Look to the Cyber Dwarf. Look to the Cyber Dwarf. da 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 da, -da. Fade, 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 fade. Wide effect. Good love. Goodbye, LeBron. Barkley, I can hear rumbling. What the hell is that? Look out, here comes a B-Ball monster. Fucking ugly as shit. Balls! Balls! Ugly as fuck looking guy. Look at that face. Whatever, let's see about using none of this because we don't have enough points. So we'll just go with Fire Zomber, lower his attack, because why not? He looks big, he looks strong, might as well use that. Shobo Jam, motherfucker. Nope, not Shobo Jam, this one. And how little damage it really does. And how much damage that actually does, because we actually don't have anywhere near the same amount of health as guy. Anyway, turn order negative 20, that should give us a little bit more time to do whatever we want. Fuck okay. it. Let's go with the Shobo Jam. And guard plus four. That does increase our defense, which is good. I'm pretty sure that increases our defense. I can't imagine what else it would do. Anyway, just checking out the items we've got here just to see if we have anything to increase BP. And we don't, because I'm retarded. Anyway, 
can't use any of that because of it. Cause we, like, we're sure of one. Like, I don't understand why the BP is, like, I mean, an awkward number, but whatever. We'll just go with the Zauber Dash. Because why not? And can we hit him? 